So Fab, what's happening now? <laughs> well, we're hoping to try our spinnaker out, but we just realised we haven't actually sorted the blocks out. So there's an emergency fix going on right now. Uh, temporary whippings. <laughs> and anybody who's ever whipped will know just how temporary this one is. But um, this line for now is just being cut in half. And we will worry about it later. This is the line we bought, so I'm not worried about cutting it in half. But what I'm going to do with this is um, secure it with a round turn, a couple of half hitches, and then I'm just going to oxo it onto the block for now. And that will do for today, for just, just to prove the concept. Yeah, but needs must when the devil drives, and trust me, the devil's definitely driving. So, so why uh, didn't we do it while we were in the marina? Because we're idiots, we forgot. No, it wasn't. It was the fact that we had that much stuff on the blocks, on the plate. Yeah, but we should have done it today before we came out. We didn't. So I can just oxo this onto a block, onto a cleat, and we'll see where we go with that. But yeah, it's a bit hand to mouth, but you know, <sighs> but the important thing is we're out, we're under sail, and it's still January. Look at it, it's lovely. It's lovely for January. Let's put it like that. This is very inconvenient. I meant to be cooking. <laughs> yeah, well, I've only got so many hours to do stuff. Um, so I'm filming, then going out off to my job, and then I'll come back and uh, sort it all out. So what's the cause of this interruption to my cooking schedule? Well, our sale was a bit of a palaver, um, mainly because um, when we put the sale up, 
um, the way that we'd put the tacks, the port side was on the starboard side and the starboard side was on the port side. So what Beverly has done is she has put on S for starboard and uh, to be extra sure I'm going to put a P on for port so that when we get it out of the out of the bag it's set up correctly. So that's the first thing uh, that happened. The other issue we had um, with the my snuffer was it wasn't going up the chute correctly and I think what it was was to do with um, the way I've got my lines. I've got the uh, this is my continuous loop line and as you can see it goes through uh, this little tab and this tab also has uh, the line for that actually holds the uh, snuffer up so these two lines were tangling up um, and also because this uh, continuous loop goes through the snuffer and then round the outside so what I've decided to do is I've decided to put the continuous loop at 90 degrees to the line that holds the snuffer up and also I've decided to put the continuous loop completely on the outside We got some diesel off the marina. Job number one is to get some fuel conditioner into it, and job number two is to get it into the um, into the rear tank. Well, we don't have a front tank, so it shouldn't be too difficult. But that's it. So I've got this, and just in case now we're getting on with it. All my gloves have gone hard. Need new ones. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put our self-priming siphon in and this will do all the hard work for me, getting the diesel into the tank and we won't spill a drop. I hope I'm not tempting fate with that, you never know when you're in sea. <laughs> the sea seems to be very temptable fate wise. So that's nice and straight to go into the can, let's get it into the tank and do it. Well, we've got over this morning's great disaster, haven't we? What was that? Poor Chip. Oh, yes. Uh, one of our mugs, I'm afraid to say, has uh, finally bit the duck here bucket. Um, we called it Chip because it had a chip on it. Quite a big chip. <laughs> Quite a big chip. He had a big chip on his shoulder. He did have a big chip on his shoulder, but he, he decided that he was a... Uh, Live fast, die young. Kind of coffee mug. <laughs> the coffee mug. So he's been replaced. I'm he? afraid so. We have replaced him and we now have a Dumbo mug. And that will be mine because I'm the elephant here on board, Salty Lass. Uh -huh. So what's the elephant up to? Um, right, okie dokie. So I've done the tabs. Off on what? Uh, on my, this is my snuffer. So what I did decide to do is I wanted to have the continuous loop on the outside. So I've done my tabs. So this is the continuous loop at the bottom. So it's at the bottom. I've whipped that. It goes all the way somewhere around here. I think you might have the cordage down there. Yeah, to the top. And then it goes all the way around. And then this is the bottom one. And that's the bottom, and I've just got to whip that. What was the bottom? She thought that'd be the top. No, this is the. Basically, this is the one that was at the top. 
basically this will be the one that rises and this is the one that will pull it down so this is the riser that's the downward one so that's the way it works with the continuous loop um, um we've i've still got to put all this on um but one of the one of our sub viewers was wondering how i actually got um the cruising chute to go above the sail and it was quite simple this was the con the where the continuous oh, just realized i've missed a loop it's got to go through here You've got to take it all off again now haven't you i've got to take it all off again to put it through the <laughs> through the ring dumbo i know i'm a dumbo but regardless but the thing is that's at the top where i've got the halyard and then this is at the top of the sail and then that gives you um a length of rope where the continuous uh the snuffer can actually gather as such so that's the answer to that but uh, apart from the fact I've done that all wrong, the main thing I want to look at today, I'll show you in a second. Yesterday, uh, Beverly and I went over to Carrick to see some old sailing friends. And because they knew we had um, issues with our snuffer, uh, they've actually uh, donated one of their snuffers to us. So this is it. It's got a lighter barker. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is um, because uh, when I had uh, a, a cat or a dog, um, my daughter used to call these cones a louder barker. They thought you... The dog's head comes through them. The dog's head comes through it. But, um, yeah, this is it. So, interesting. So it's longer. And that's all the shackles. Oh, I see. I see we have some research to do. So we've got some research to do, but this is what I'm going to be doing today. Things are looking a bit ropey around here. I think I'll do a fast get, fast exit, go outside, run away, hide. Yeah, I've got shackles which are wrecked and all sorts, but I'll sort it out for goodness sake. But yeah, I want to have... Oh, good Lord, look at all that down there. I know. Yeah, I want to have it that I have a backup, which is this one, and I have this new one, which uh, one of our um, friends gave us. So, <sighs> onward and upward. Well, but like the snuffer. <laughs> Hopefully, one day it will be. <laughs> 